here are your 80 questions on B2. So the independent variable is the one that we change and the dependent variable is the one that we measure. The range is the lowest value to the highest value. Not taking these numbers away from each other, that's maths. And don't forget when you're doing this, we have to include our units. An interval is just going to be the gap between the values. And that's the values of the independent variable. The control variable is something that we keep the same. We draw a line graph for continuous data. We draw a bar graph for categoric data. And in numerous results, something that doesn't fit the pattern. We can increase the validity of readings by doing them three times and working out a mean. Now onto the, the sciencey bit. The nucleus is the bit that controls the activities of the cell. The cell membrane controls what goes in and out of a cell. And the mitochondria is where energy is released. The ribosomes are where protein synthesis occurs. Three things that plant cells have that animal cells don't have are going to be a cell wall, oh, chloroplasts and vacuoles. The DNA in a bacterial cell, they don't have nucleuses or nuclei rather, so they is in the cytoplasm. Two examples of specialist cells, you can have lots here but we could have a sperm cell or a root hair cell. Diffusion is movement of particles. From a high to a low concentration. A tissue is a group of cells with similar function. An organ is a group of tissues. And an organ system is made up of lots of different organs. Three organs that can be found in plants are stems, roots and leaves. Three organ systems that can be found in humans are respiratory, the central nervous system, the digestive system or you can have the circulatory system. The equation for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water goes to glucose plus oxygen. Three factors that can affect the rate of photosynthesis. We can have the amount of light the temperature or the concentration of carbon dioxide. Now plants need photosynthesis so that they can make starch from the glucose. A long chain of amino acids is a protein. 
A catalyst is something that speeds up a rate of reaction. And a biological catalyst is an enzyme. Amylase breaks down starch into sugar and this is produced in a number of places. So it is produced in the salivary glands, the pancreas and the small intestine. Protease breaks down proteins into amino acids and it is produced in the stomach, the pancreas and the small intestine. Lipase breaks down fats into fatty acids. And it is produced in the pancreas and the small intestine. The acid in the stomach is hydrochloric acid. And bile is produced in the liver. Bile is stored in the gallbladder. And bile neutralizes stomach acid. Microorganisms in the home can be used for lots of things. Most commonly they're going to be used for detergents. In industry they can also be used for lots of things but they can be used for converting or breaking down products. The equation for respiration is glucose plus oxygen carbon dioxide and water. Aerobic respiration takes place in the mitochondria and during exercise you're going to see a number of changes including an increase in heart rate and breathing. Anaerobic respiration is a breakdown of glucose to form lactic acid. And anaerobic respiration takes place when there is not enough oxygen. This can lead to oxygen jet, which is the incomplete breakdown of oxygen. The idea of inherited factors was introduced by Mendel and if you're homozygous you have two identical alleles. If you're heterozygous you have two different alleles. A phenotype is what you look like. Your genotype are the genes that you have. Skin cells divide by my mitosis. And if you can't remember the difference between mitosis and mitosis, I have a video on how I remember the stupid different ways. And it forms two new cells. Chromosomes are long strands of DNA.
and cells in the reproductive organs divide by meiosis. And this will form four new cells. A gamete is a sperm or an egg cell. And in skin cells, you're going to find 46 chromosomes, that's 23 pairs. And in gamete, you're going to find just 23 chromosomes. Women will have XX sex chromosomes and men will have XY sex chromosomes. Genes are parts of DNA. control the characteristics and an alley is different version of a gene. A dominant allele will control the characteristics when only one allele is present. Whereas a recessive allele, you need two alleles present to control the characteristics. Polylactory is having um, extra fingers or toes. And this is dominant. Cystic fibrosis is a problem with cell membranes. And this is recessive. The evidence for early life comes from the fossil record. Not everything left a fossil. Some things that were soft bodied didn't leave a fossil. A species might become extinct due to changes in the environment. Diseases predators or a massive catastrophic event. New species might arrive due to isolation, genetic variation or natural selection. In mitosis a cell is going to divide once in meiosis, it is going to divide twice. In mitosis, compared to the original cell, the new cell is going to have the same number of chromosomes, and in meiosis, it is going to have half the number of chromosomes. Mitosis happens all over the body, whereas meiosis only happens in the testes or ovaries and are you going to do amazingly well and enjoy your CSE? Well you've made it this far through the video so you're obviously working really really hard. Good luck guys and well done.